people. You don't ask us what's our religion or what's our belief. You just start whooping black heads. They don't say, are you a Catholic? Are you a Baptist? Are you a black Muslim? Are you a, are you a Martin Luther King follower? Are you with Whitney Young? They just go... <laughs> See, we have been brainwashed. Everything good and of authority was made white. We look at Jesus, we see a white with blonde hair and blue eyes. We look at all the angels, we see white with blonde hair and blue eyes. Now I'm sure if there's a heaven in the sky and the color folks die and go to heaven, and where are the colored angels? They must be in the kitchen preparing the milk and honey. We look at Miss America, we see white. We look at Miss World, we see white. We look at Miss Universe, we see white. Even Taz in the king of the jungle in back Africa, he's white. And as his audiences responded with more and more fervor, as he hammered his points home more and more effectively, then indeed it began to seem that in this one rich personality was embodied that tricky, tragic, explosive decade. The 60s. White owl cigars. <laughs> White, white swan soap, king white soap, white cloud tissue paper, white rain hair rinse, white tornado flow wax, white plus toothpaste. All the good cowboys ride the white horses. The White House. Angel food cake is the white cake, but the devil food cake is the chocolate cake. A loudmouth from Louisville, who became adept at a particularly brutal trade, refusing to obey the law and allow himself to be drafted into the armed forces of his country, as if he was someone special. Is he someone special? Can an athlete be considered that special just because he's the best in the world? Or is it his refusal that makes him special? They took away his money, his prizes, reduced his fame, slandered his name. Finally left him nothing but his refusal. Even if the wealth of America was given to me for taking the step, the wealth of America and the friendship of all of the people who support the war, this will still be nothing if I am not content internally and if I'm not in court with the will of Almighty Allah. In an arena larger than the ring and for stakes greater than any purse, he kept fighting back. That no nation, no people can be free without land. And we are a whole nation, 22 million people, without a toothpick factory. We worked 310 years and ain't got nothing. At least you worked 100 years and got something. So you can't now be angry because they tired and they don't see no more hope in integrating. Integrating and fail, swimming in the fail, laying in, walking in, still getting the heads beat in, and you wonder now why they tired. And we fought in all the wars, and we still fighting in them, and still a nigga. What you mean if I believe in separation? I've recognized the fact that you believe in it. That's what your people believe in. What you mean you don't believe in it? No, no you just talking crazy. Every city I go to, I can find a black neighborhood and a white neighborhood. What you mean don't believe in it? How many Negroes live just, how many Negroes live out here just in this big old neighborhood? You can't blame a black man for wanting to leave all this mistreatment. You must be crazy. So what you mean don't take white money? Only thing white about that money is a white picture on it. What you mean white money? If that's the case, I should take off these clothes. You made them too. I shouldn't fly in your airplanes. What am I going to do? Just go out and lay down somewhere and hide in the mud hole? What now? What is to become of Muhammad Ali, also known as Cassius Clay? It would be up to the individual boxing commissions to consult their sensitive standards of ethics and decide whether or not to let him fight again. There is another possibility, of course. He may keep on the way he's going to develop into a leader of the black revolution. His popularity is growing among the youth, black and white, as our national policies continue to decay. Can he do this? Can he go this route? 
Some think he can become as powerful a spokesman as Malcolm X in his own way. But will he be allowed to become a leader? This could warn white people, plaguing white people's neighborhood, forcing themselves on white people, and we don't clean up and do for ourselves. The slum is not in the neighborhood. The slum is not in the ghetto. The slum is in the people. The people make the slum. And the condition our people are in now, if you gave them a $93 million project, they'll make a slum out of it in 24 hours. Then you can take a nation of people who are intelligent and they can make a slum a paradise. There are no easy solutions for Muhammad Ali. No happy ending for this attempt at telling his story. Except this. To be a champion is to convert obstacles into stepping stones. It is possible to strip a man of a title, but in a more important sense, champion means a set of qualities rather than an official title. You know, all of the youth are watching you, and all of them look up to you, to you and idolize you. A champion is a species of hero, and a hero is nourished by misfortune. That is why he attracts legend. Let us hope, then, that no action of Defense Department or Federal Judiciary or Muslim factionalism can quench these qualities that make Ali a champion. He is more than a champion. He is a man.